Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have a really cool review to show you. Uh, this is the latest and greatest uh, coming from the 11 Hobby brand coming from Banggood.com. This is the all new 1100 millimeter F8F Bearcat. Now this is really cool to me because I've actually never flown a model of an F8F Bearcat. So this is gonna be new to me too guys uh, and I'm real impressed with this thing. Uh, specifications are pretty much the same as uh, the 11 Hobby uh, T28 and the P51 Mustang. Uh, I'll really quickly show you uh, the outside of, a, of one of the boxes. Now this is for the T28. Uh, this came to me just as it is uh, in a, just a, a blank cardboard box because they haven't gotten all the, the boxing done on it. But the specifications are essentially the same again as the T28 uh, and the P51. 1100 millimeter wingspan uh, or 43.3 inches, 850 kV outrunner, 40 amp ESC. Um, it's going to have six 9-gram servos. Uh, the CG, I'll show you in the instruction manual. This is for the, uh, the this uh, 45 to 50 is for the, uh, the T28. So 11.7 uh, prop, I believe, and still the same battery setup, guys. Three cell, 2200, 25C or higher pack, um, which is really great, guys, because you're sticking with the three cell, 2200 milliamp standard size, and all these airplanes will fly off the same battery. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to get new batteries. But overall, I'm impressed just looking at this nice dark blue, uh, you know, kind of navy uh, marine paint job on it. Uh, you can see here the spar for the tail. Uh, looks like a drop tank or external tank. Elevators are right here. The fuselage is underneath. You see a wing, the wing panel here, just one piece all finished and ready to go together. So let's go ahead and get the parts out of the box and uh, we'll lay them out for you. Here's the layout of all the parts that uh, came out of the box with the exception of the instruction manual. Just keep in mind this is an early paint sample, sample that came from the factory and uh, they often don't send me instructions with it but uh, these 11 hobby airplanes they're so simple and they go together so easy honestly you really don't need instructions but the production version will have a nice set of instructions with it but overall guys real impressed with this what a cool looking airplane it's about time we get a Bearcat out here to fly and uh, this is a really uh, nice rendition of one now start at the top main wing panel one piece ready to go retracts are installed servos horns rods everything's in there ready to go with four bolts to bolt to the fuselage and uh and it's just that simple of a thing uh main fuselage everything's ready to go there as well motors installed speed controller uh elevator and rudder servos are ready to go pilots in there all painted and again ready to ready to accept the wing and the tail surfaces uh here's your tail spar tail surfaces drop tank that you can uh, slide on and off the uh the easy quick release uh, adapter there. You've got uh, two parts bags uh, and the propeller, guys. Really complete, and as you can see, gonna be a real easy plane uh, to put together. Now let me show you some of the, the it's, let me show you the individual parts in uh, much closer detail. First part up to show you guys is the main uh, fuselage section. Really nice airplane, guys. It's really cool to finally have a, a Bearcat out there to fly. Um, keep in mind, this is an early paint sample, so uh, it's got little bits of uh, foam dust kind of all over it. I think they really rushed to get this out to me quickly ahead of time uh, to get some videos uh, done on it. It also has a couple of paint blemishes here and there. But again, it is an early paint sample. Essentially, this is uh, going to be about what the production version is, but maybe just a tiny bit uh, cleaner than this. But overall, really nice airplane, guys. You can see that engine detail, the 850 kV motor in there. You can see the cooling holes. Uh, between the uh, the dummy, dummy engine cylinders there to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, you can see the uh, the exhaust stacks here, really nice. Uh, as I run across the bottom, you can see the pass through here for the, the wing wires that'll come through the middle there. And also something I like to show everybody too, again, uh, the wing bolts uh, go on with machine screws with metal thread. So really, really nice uh, that they're doing that on a, on a lot of these, uh, these airplanes uh, coming from uh, 11 Hobby. Uh, as we run across to the bottom here, nice cooling hole there to let the air out. Uh, also, uh, you can see the, uh, the tail wheel, tail wheel uh, unit there. Um, not a retractable unit, but uh, overall, uh, you know, pretty darn scale and a really nice, uh, nice detail for it all the way around. Um, you can see here some of the, again, some of the blemishes and some of the, some of the, uh, the factory dust. Again, early paint sample here. Uh, and as we look at this thing, I love these plastic pockets here that the uh, that the elevator halves plug into nicely. They're usually a really precision, really nice fit. Now this tail section I thought originally was an unfinished piece, but 
Uh, if you look at the pictures online of uh, this airplane 201, you'll actually see it does have a white tail cone. Um, I believe that probably the intent was to actually paint this on the real airplane. And uh, the Chinese factory probably copied this too closely uh, because somebody got photographs of the real airplane with the white tail on there probably before they got to paint it. Anyway, that's just my best guess. But the Chinese copied it and made it, uh, made it white just like the photos they saw online, I believe. So, uh, but overall, really uh, nice linkages, uh, nice rods, very play-free. Also, um, uh, real nice foam hinges with laminate on them. Uh, not just a regular foam hinge, but a laminated foam hinge. So as we run across here, you can see your elevator servo, uh, a horn, and, and, and the rod, and the fitting and everything. Really, really nice, guys. Again, a couple of blemishes. The production version shouldn't have this again. An early paint sample here. So uh, as we get across to the uh, cockpit, real nice detail. Very unusual uh, cockpit and seat design. Uh, but that's how the Bearcats are. And uh, it looks like they got a real nice instrument panel and, uh, and pilot in there. Looks uh, really, really slick. Now let me go ahead and get the cockpit off. Cockpit comes off with uh, just a piece of tape here. Uh, magnet's pretty strong, as you can see there. Magnet in the back, tongue and groove to keep that thing uh, in place. And uh, as we uh, run across here, you can see there's two screws to uh, hold the, uh, the pilot in. Now, the inside of this uh, Bearcat is huge. You can see all this space in here, plenty of space for the battery to go all the way up to the motor if you need to. Uh, the uh, Velcro and battery strap are already in there, ready to, to put onto your battery, which is kind of nice. They do include a nice big piece of Velcro now just to put right on your battery, which is cool. So uh, you can see EC3 connector for the motor and all the wires and everything are pretty much connected in there and uh, ready to be plugged in. And your, of course, your pass through here for your, uh, your wing wires and everything. Uh, canopy again goes on there really nice, secures on there tightly. Uh, overall, really, really sweet fuselage, guys. The next part up to show you is the uh, main wing panel. Really, uh, really nice uh, blue finish on this whole thing. I just really dig this. A um, couple of dents and dings. I actually put this one in here myself as I was getting it out of the box, unfortunately, but real easy to fix, uh, fix foam. Um, uh, lot, nice intake detail in, in the wings. Uh, mostly uh, in the center here is all your wing wires that are all labeled, ready to go through that uh, pass through in the fuselage and ready to connect your, uh, your ailerons, uh, your flaps, and your retractable landing gear. Um, not a lot of action on the top side of this wing. Most of it is uh, on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, show you all the things uh, underneath, uh, underneath here. Uh, got a little box rash right there. That's something I'll report over to, uh, to the factory about that. Uh, something in the box did that, and uh, hopefully we'll clear that up before the production version comes out. Uh, overall, really uh, nice. Good decal application. You can see the uh, servo horn rod and even the uh, the retaining uh, fuel tube that they put around there to keep that keeper in place. Uh, real nice foam hinges with uh, laminate running across them so they're really really uh, tough with a sort of a rubbery lamination. Uh, one thing I like that they're doing over here at Eleven Hobby is they're putting these little these little plastic keepers in instead of the tape. Now the tape usually looked okay uh, on some of the older airplanes that you see out there uh, you don't see the wires, or here you do see the wires, but these plastic keepers are actually pretty clean, the way that they keep all the wires down in there. Um, uh, you could even run tape right over top of that if you wanted to, but, uh, but anyway, that's how they're doing it, and I think it's uh, pretty slick how they're keeping the wires down in there. Uh, retracts, really nice. You can see your metal trunnion, uh, gear, doors, everything's installed, just ready to be plugged in and, and turned on. You can see your uh, wing doublers here with your four screws, two here and uh, two here. And of course your, uh, your uh, drop tank or external tank, which is really nice. It has this mechanism that uh, just keeps it on. And you can see how that slides on and slides off. So you can fly with the tank or without it, however you like it. But overall, folks, a really, really nice, uh, nice wing panel overall. Here's just a quick look at the uh, horizontal stable and uh, elevator, really nice. Uh, nice uh, painted uh, detail on it. Uh, overall, you can kind of see right here the main spar running all the way through and uh, how this thing uh, joins up. Now you can see the, uh, the main spar there and how that just plugs in. And uh, there's a really nice uh, positive kind of square locking mechanism that goes in here. And uh, as you push that together, 
this does a nice positive lock on there, so the, the two sides aren't uh, separated. When you, uh, when you move one, they both move pretty much the same uh, without any play there. So really, really nice horizontal stabilizer and elevator. Next up are the uh, parts bags, which you can see your uh, gun detail, which you can just uh, put attached with a little bit of uh, contact cement. Also your uh, prop hub that just runs right around the center of, uh, of the propeller. Uh, you can see your wing screws and tail screws here, and uh, also your, uh, your, uh, your prop hub, which is actually kind of a square hub. Uh, it, I don't know if it's silver on the airplane. I don't think it is. I think it's uh, dark blue, so uh, that's something you could probably paint to match. Uh, and also uh, uh, just some, uh, some extensions and Y harnesses and so forth to get everything uh, all hooked up. Last but not least is the uh, propeller. Really nice manufactured molded propeller, 10 by 7.5. Nicely painted tips and uh, should go on there really nicely. Um, there is a, again, guys, an instruction manual on the airplane that uh, that will be included with the uh, with the kit. Normally, I show you that, but uh, I didn't get one because it's an early paint sample of the airplane. Uh, I did find out from the uh, factory uh, that the uh, center of gravity on this airplane is 90 to 95 millimeters after the leading edge. Um, as I fly the airplane uh, in the demos, if I have any problem with that or that's incorrect, I'll, I'll report that to you so you have a good CG to fly with. But uh, overall, guys, really nice Bearcat coming from 11hobby and banggood.com. Check it out there. And once again, guys, thanks for watching RC Informer, and as always, we'll see you next time.